Different ways to insert, update data in Hive tables. In this video, I'm going to explain all the different ways to insert data into Hive tables. Additionally, we will learn how to update the Hive table data. Insert statement. Insert statement is used to insert values into Hive table from a local Unix file or HDFS file or the data from another Hive table. We can also insert some hard-coded values into the Hive table by specifying them directly in the query. Use this statement to insert data from a local Unix file into a Hive table. And this statement to insert data from an HDFS file into a Hive table. You can use this statement to load data into the table by querying the data from another table. The below insert into statement can be used to insert a few values directly into the table by specifying the data directly in the query. Update statement. Update statement is used to update certain or all rows of the Hive table using certain conditions. Below is the statement used to update certain rows of a table based on certain conditions. Update table is available from Hive 0.14 and above. Now, let's try the above Hive statements in the Hive control. To do this, I already have some files that we can use to load into the Hive tables. Let's keep the employee1.txt file as the local file. I'm going to put the other two files, employee2.txt and employee3.txt, as HDFS files. Here, I am typing load data local in path statement. Local indicates that the file we are loading is in the local Unix location. The overwrite keyword indicates that the data is going to be overwritten into the Hive table. It will replace the existing data with the new data if there is already some data in the Hive table. Let's verify the same by giving select statement. There you go. The employee hive table has the contents of the employee1.txt file loaded, as expected. Next, I'll be loading an HDFS file into the hive table instead of a local file. Here, I am typing load data in path, giving the HDFS file path. As you can see, I haven't given the local keyword. So this load statement expects the file to be an HDFS file. I am issuing a select statement on the same employee hive table. You can see that the contents of the employee hive table have been overwritten with the contents of the employee2 HDFS file. Let's try loading the data into the employee table with the data of another hive table, employee v2. Let's see what the employee v2 table contains. Now, I am using insert into table employee select asterisk from employee v2. This should have loaded the content of the employee v2 into the employee hive table. Let's verify by writing a select statement on the employee table. There it is. We can see here the data has been appended as expected. Finally, let's see how to insert some values to the tables by directly giving the input. I'm using insert into table employee values. Here, you can see I haven't enclosed the employee ID values because it is an int column. The other two columns are of string data type, and so the values are enclosed within single quotes.
This has loaded the user specified values into the Hive table as expected. In this video, we saw how to insert data into Hive tables using various Hive queries. We also saw how to update certain rows of a Hive table based on certain conditions. In the next video, we will see how to query Hive tables. See you there.